It's time for the Family Feud, introducing the Evans family. Buford, Mac, Shirley, Joe, and Sarah, ready for action. And the Larson family, Tim, Wendy, Walter, Mary, and Catherine. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Happy birthday. Come on down. Okay. Welcome, welcome, Buford. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> that was a very good surprise. Thank you. You know, all, uh, thank you. All this time I thought they were the Dawsons and you're the Larsons. Yes. Right? I, I thought there was a little something going on because everybody kept diving away. Yes, I did not expect to come around there and see the two of you. Do yes, we get a picture of the... Okay. This is my son, by the way, and my daughter-in-law right there, I want to show you. Yeah. Yeah. Kathy and Mark. Thank you. Well, we, uh, we just wanted to wish you uh, a happy birthday. It's my dad's birthday today, so we'd like to wish him a big happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And um, besides the cake, uh, yeah. I know that Goodson Todman has a, another little surprise for you. Uh, boys, could we slide the door? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Happy birthday. Mm. <laughs> Happy birthday. Mm. Nice to see you. Uh, we won't leave. Happy birthday. <laughs> Great. To Two. you. Happy birthday to oh. you. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you. How are you doing? Great. All right, yeah. in case, uh, in case you think I'm an insane person and like young boys, that's my son Gary who lives in England. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Well, we don't know what to say. No, I, I gotta tell you something. See, I don't think it's a good way to start a show, do you? <laughs> Howard, come here, please. This is my producer, Howard Felscher. Come here. Yeah. Here's Michelle's idea. Happy Michelle? Yeah. I just yeah. slammed it, Howard. Yeah. No, I cannot. I, you know, I thought something was up. And I just said, I, I cannot, I don't think we'll be able to tape at this moment. We'll probably have to have a I'll break. Sure. Break for a few days, and then... <laughs> I had asked my other son, Mark, to call Gary. I asked him today. <laughs> so I can't tell you what a thrill this is. Uh, I, Paulo, I, my director, Paul Alter, and I want to thank you, and I thank everybody here. One thing, because it's a marvelous idea, not my idea. It was Michelle Rothkopf's idea. To Michelle, Gary. you're a darling, and you're fired because I'm crying, and I, <laughs> I have five shows to do today. I, when you miss my birthday that was on the air, usually I get this surprise of some kind about three or four weeks ago on, you know, my show. Today, what is what? So today, darling? That is your birthday. Right. So I went back. No, but I went back. Oh, November the 20th is my birthday. I went back that day, and I asked Brian Higby, the gentleman who does my wardrobe, Tom Delisle, my writer, uh, and I wrote a note. Now, you please, will you notice this? Come here. You have to come here, though, Howard, because oh, you want to be on the microphone. Okay. Well, just what does it say? Sealed 3.30 p.m., October 4th, 1980, witness Tom J. Delisle and Brian Higby. Open it up, please. You'll see it's sealed. Yes. Everybody sealed these. <laughs> but I thought I was so smart when I wrote that until you... Yes. And the winner is... Now read it. I, Richard Dawson, predict that on my birthday, November 20th, 1980, my producer will surprise me with a birthday cake on the show. I also predict <laughs> that on November 4th, a landslide victory will be won by Jimmy Carter. <laughs> 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 Signed, Richard Dawson. P.S. In case of a slight error in my calculations, it may be that Jimmy Carter will surprise me with a birthday cake and my producer will win the election by a landslide. <laughs> Absolutely legitimate. This, this is one of my best friends. He's my best friend. His name's Tom Delisle. All the Tonight shows I ever did, Tom writes, and he's my writer. And listen. 
great. I thank you all. I don't know what to do. We're probably eight minutes over. Maybe, maybe. I thank you, and I thank you. We'll play the few. You go. Oh. You. What? If you go and say hi to the champions by the time you get done, the real Larson. All right, be fine. They're the champs. They're bringing the Larsons on. Welcome the Evans, please. I don't know what to do. <laughs> New friend, it's nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome. Welcome. Well, uh, where were we? Oh, how much money have you won, Buford? That's what I should ask you. $6,659. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> I hope you remember how this game is played, Buford. I am in such shock. <laughs> I understand how you All feel. All right, we'll play the shell game. Uh, Johnny, uh, bring the... Oh, that's Bob Parker. Uh, let's meet everybody, please. All right, on my left is my son, Mac. Hey, Richard. Uh, Mac. Next to him is his lovely wife, Hi, Shirley. Then my son, Joe. Hello. And my daughter, Sarah. Hi, Richard. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> well, we brought you in from Nashville, but you live... Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. You're all, you're the home of Davy Crockett. Exactly. You gave me that uh, coonskin yes, cap. I wish I had it now. I could have the tail hanging here. You wouldn't see my swollen eyes, would you? We no. better get on with this because I think guiding light comes up behind it. The Larsons are here. Make them feel at home. Did you know about it? Yes, you sir. Knew. Yes, yeah. we did know. Happy uh, birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Please let me uh, meet your family. Well, this is my wife, Wendy. Hi, Hi. Her mother and father, uh, Mary, and that's Walter, Hi, and Walter. their daughter, Hi. Catherine. Hi, Richard. Hello. Okay. I know I gotta go fast. I, he's waving me already. I thank you for being here. You obviously knew about it because you weren't there when it came out. Yes. Uh, I just wish you luck. Thank you. We have a little something for you also. Oh, my God. Thank you. Mary was very observant some, uh, some shows ago, and we have a birthday card for you and a little present. Uh, the I love you thank sign. You. That's my sign language. Would you, Mary, when would you put it on? Sure. Like thank you. Why don't we not do a show? Why don't we just give him some money? <laughs> yeah. Why don't we just, really, why don't we just have a couple of commercials? I'll talk a bit. Where would you like it? And then uh, let them both play Fast Money and bring them back for the next show as well. Because there's no way I'll catch up. We're too late, aren't we? We got two Fast Monies? Wouldn't it be fun? I mean, we could play a couple of questions. Yeah, and then we'll both play Fast Money. Wouldn't that be fun? All right. Okay, come on. Let's play the feud. Let's do it. <laughs> We've never done that before. That'd be my my Christmas, uh, birthday present for both. When I say Christmas, what is, is it Christmas already here? Is it really? Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. I'm sorry to hear it. I just saw my younger son's hair. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, it seems someone uh, with a whipped cream can sprayed him. Uh, I didn't notice that. My eyes were filled with tears, Buford, when I hugged him. I noticed that. And, uh, of course, now I, I might decide that uh, I have no children at all. <laughs> 100 people surveyed. Top six answers are on the board. You have to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Tell me something people save from their weddings. Yes, sir. Top of the cake. Top of the cake. Well done. Well done. Well done. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Thank you for being here on a special day for me. What do you think people save from their wedding? I would say that they would save the bride's garter. The garter. Good answer. All right. Garter. Hey! Yes, Walter. How you doing, sir? Fine. Good. You like the horses, don't you? Yes, Richard. I heard all How about you. How did you know that? Oh, I heard about them. You like to play the horses? Oh, I love them. You win? Sometimes. Sometimes. Some people save from their weddings. A piece of the wedding cake. Yeah, look up there. Uh, you've played the horses too many times. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh the garter from the bride. Take a look up there. <laughs> Uh, see, I've been sleeping here. Not at all, not at all. It's an emotional... That's right, yeah. yeah. It's an emotional night for all of us here. Uh... Oh, the wedding pictures. Ah, oh, now you're good. talking. The pictures? You got it. Hello, darling. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. 
What do you think uh, people say from their wedding? Well, they press flowers from the bouquet. They do, yeah. all right. Yeah. Flowers. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Catherine. <laughs> nice to have you here. Nice what do you here. think people say from their weddings? Okay. Uh, I know the bride saves her gown. Gown? Yeah. Right. right, right. Yeah. The gown. Yes, sir. Yeah. There's nine dollars up there, just one answer left, no strikes. You're in good shape here. We are? Yeah, <laughs> you are. The odds are in your favor, as uh, Walter would tell you after he <laughs> mentioned cake, uh, garter, or flowers, or gown. I think a lot of people have uh, tape recordings, and they save the tape. Okay, it's what we call the John Dean syndrome. Tapes! <laughs> First strike, pretty windy. Well, I know that we had napkins and matches made with the name and date. Oh, I so see. I would say onions. I, it's from their wedding. Yeah, it's something people say from their wedding. Okay. Um, how about a marriage license? Okay. <laughs> Good answer. So she's standing next to Walter. So <laughs> it's catching matches and napkins. So I'd say a marriage license. <laughs> If the license there, darling, you got it all. Marriage license. Not there. Come on, Walter. Now, look that list over. What? I figured it all out. Oh, well done. The You're guest good. book. What? The guest yeah. book. Yeah. What's the name of that horse, Tom, we've been on? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tuckerado in the fist. Oh, all right, I'll yeah. remember that. I'll write that down. If the guest book's there. Got it all. If not third strike, Evan's got a chance to steal. Guess book? Not now. There's $90 up there. What do you think, Buford? Invitation. 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 Wedding invitation. Very nice. You are. Thank you. Not your answer, you. Invitations get you the $90. If not, Tim and his family get it. Invitations? They got it. Number six. What look? See, this is a different kind of show. We don't know where we're going, but I do know we have a commercial. Kleenex! Yeah! We'll be back. 90 there, nothing there. I need you. Come on, Tim. How you doing? Nice to see you. Let me just tell you right now what we're going to do, because this is a special day. We've never done this before. We're going to play one more question. Who's ever ahead, whoever's got the highest score, they'll play the first fast money for 5000 then we'll have a commercial, we'll play another five. You know I would love you both to win the five grand. I don't know how good St. Tubman feel about that. <laughs> but me, I would, you'll just need one hand and some matches and a napkin. <laughs> 100 people surveyed, top five answers around the board. Here's the question. Name an occupation that is more admired than you think it deserves to be. Yeah. Stewardess. Stewardess. <laughs> yes. Lawyer. Lawyer. Yes, sir, you'll play a pass. Do you tell you? Okay. Good. I get to see my Shirley. Hi, Richard. Mm. Oh, lovely. An occupation, name one that is more admired than you think it deserves to be. Mm. A chef. <laughs> chef? <laughs> Not that. No? No. What do you think, sir? Doctor. Doctor? Let's look. Hey, Doctor! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah. What do you think the answer is to this? A banker? Let's take a look. Any of our people say banker? They did not. Second strike. Newford. A minister. Minister. If it's there, okay. If not, third strike. Minister? Not now. $27 up here for the Larsons. Nurse. Nurse. Housewife. Nurse. Actor. Actress. Give me an answer. Nurse. Nurse. If it's there, you get the money. If not, you get a nurse. <laughs> One. Number one. Oh. Politician number two. Actor, yeah. You gotta be athlete, the last one, huh? Number five. Pro sports, that's it. You got it. I need two people. You're gonna play for $5,000. Who's gonna do it? Who's first? Up you go. Wendy and Catherine are going for the money. That's right. All right, 15 seconds, please. Tell me approximately how many presents you get at Christmas time. Ten. A food that contains lots of sugar. 
Candy. Something found in Washington, D.C. The Capitol. A cream soup. Mushroom. A famous fairy. Tinkerbell. Have a look. Thank you. Okay. How many presents you get? Christmas, you said 10. Survey said. Food that contains lots of sugar, you said. Candy. Survey said. Something found in Washington, D.C. You said, Capital, I would have said some disgruntled carters, but uh, <laughs> survey said, <laughs> Green soup, mushroom, said one, survey said, <laughs> Famous fairy, you said, Tinkerbell, you need 50 points. you never see Catherine again. Survey said, <laughs> <laughs> Stand over here. Right there. Okay? Right there. Because there's a camera there, so you mustn't block it. Ready, darling? Yeah, you got a big hard task in front of you. You need four points. That's for luck. Please remind everyone the answers. Uh, Wendy gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Tell me approximately how many presents you get at Christmas time. Ten. Right again. Five. A food that contains lots of sugar. Candy. Right again. Cake. Something found in Washington, D.C. Uh, the White House. A cream soup. Mushroom. Try again. Uh, chicken. Famous fairy. Uh, Tinkerbell. Try again. <laughs> you don't need to worry. <laughs> How many presents at Christmas? You said five. Ten was the number one answer. You only need four points for $5,000. And the survey said... stage already. Mm -hmm. Chance for you to win 5,000 now. I hope okay. so. Good. 15 seconds, please. Name a kind of person whose orders you have to follow or else. Doctors. Besides flour, something bakers use. Icing. A beverage people drink for lunch. Coke. A sport movie stars play on television. Football. The color of toupee. Of a toupee color. Brown. Brown. Turn around. <laughs> What kind of person you have to follow the orders or else? You said? Doctor survey said? Oh, my oh. goodness. Besides flour, something bakers use. You said? Icing survey said? Oh. What luck. <laughs> Beverage of people drink for lunch. You said Coke. Survey said? 30 seconds. Sport, the movie stars play on television. You said? Oh, boy, yeah, I remember. Uh, Cary Grant, rushing to make a touchdown. Oh, uh, Jimmy Stewart stopped him. Tarzan, well, I'll talk to you. Survey said? Two. <laughs> or just the two I mentioned. Color for two pay, Browns and Shirley. Survey said? <laughs> Good girl. Clear the board, please. We're waiting for Sarah. Good luck. Okay. Please remind everyone the answer Shirley gave us. Give me 20 seconds, please. Name the kind of person whose orders you have to follow or else. Your boss. Besides flour, something bakers use. Yeast. A beverage people drink for lunch. Tea. A sport movie stars play on television. Baseball. A color of toupee. Gray. Thank you. Turn around. Yeah. Kind of person whose orders you have to follow or else. You said? Boss survey said? 22. <laughs> Number one answer was your parent. Parents. Besides flour, something bakers use. You said? Yeast survey said? 25. <laughs> Number one answer, sugar. Sugar. You got 142. Beverage people drink for lunch. You said tea. Survey said 22. All soft drinks. Number one, soda. You had it there. Number one answer. Sport. The movie stars play on television. You said baseball. I remember Boris Karloff sliding in the first. <laughs> Survey said four. Tennis. Tennis. The number one answer. And then a color of a toupee. 
Brown was the number one answer. I was hoping you'd say black for that, but you said gray. If gray's worth 32 points, you have the money. Survey said. Six. 174. $5 for every point. Total of. 870. We'll be back right after you. I love you. It's been a special day. I love you all. Thank you. We'll see you here on the floor. Subject Hunting is contestant for Kitty from Kitty Shoes, a great selection of fashion footwear. Kitty stays in a step with America, that's why Kitty is a great American shoe store. The world famous Presto Pressure Cooker, engineered and designed for safe, modern, high speed cooking. The Presto Pressure Cooker. In comfortable Hager Magic stretch slacks, he's wrapped in style for the.